What's up out there? Welcome back to some more internal suffering. We are on episode eight. Now, in the last episode, I was kind of complaining a little bit about progress and how it wasn't getting very far and everything. And um, I have not really gone forward very much, but I've spread out quite a bit. I've got a lot of things accomplished over the last few days, and I'm feeling a lot better about how this is going. Uh, probably still, I, I don't know if I'm where I want to be or not, but I've got a lot of cool things. So let's start looking into this. I spent a good chunk of time in the Dragon's Den, unlocked, let's see, mm, probably all the gear that I have on here, the Ancient Dragonhide Van Braces, the Chaps, the Scaled Shield, well, the Poison, or the, the Ancient Shield, then I upgraded it to the Scaled Shield, so I've got that. Um, I finally got Auto Slayer unlocked, so I can toggle this thing and just let her rip. That is fantastic. So gone are the days of having to log in and try to, I don't really use auto slayer in my other accounts that much. When you get into the really thick stuff, like once you get down into say, uh, the dark waters and the unheld wasteland, you really don't want to slip and have the wrong thing attacking the wrong thing. Cause you'll just die and you'll lose all the gear that you've built up. But even up through this elite stuff, uh, well, let me, let me, let me, make this fair. I do not have anything that will get me in like these boots or the blazing lantern or the, the ring or whatever. I don't have any of this stuff. I have not purchased any of that. So I can't even get into these areas yet. Um, actually I should get in this, into the shrouded badlands, but the rotation of stuff that I'm fighting right now in the elite category is basically all three of these things, these two serpent, the serpent, the snake and the moth. And then I think it's the Dark Horn Deletes and Furious Horn Deletes. I think those are the two. Um, I don't think the Seething Horn Deletes are in the Elite category. I know they're all called Elites, but uh, these are very hard to Elite. And I believe it's just these last two. So there's really only five things in here. And I can solo all that with my melee. So that's what I've been doing all day. I've reloaded this prayer thing multiple times. This thing just gets vacuumed off with a quickness. Um, so it's ran out of prayer at some point again today. I had like another 700,000 or something like that. It's gone fast. I've just blazed through it. Um, so I'm going to have to gather up a bunch more of that. I'm level 95, so I'm very close. Uh, we are cruising along. I've been working on defense. Um, let's see what else we got. Auto Slayer was huge. Once I got Auto Slayer, I built up some cash and let's see, we're probably going to come up on that. Uh, I did go into... With the auto slayer, I was able to build up enough um, slayer coin. Now you'll notice this ice jump. I did get this. I went ahead and bought the crabs. Uh, I bought the agility cape, threw the agility cape on, lowered the price of this, bought it for the reduced price, and now I'm getting 10% slayer coin. Uh, I got a plus 2,000 max hit points. So I don't remember who made the suggestion of going in and, well, somebody said go into the elder the elder the vampire guys oh god um the elder vampires because they drop crabs but um i found out you could buy them through the slayer stuff so i went ahead and bought them there really don't have a whole lot left to buy as far as slayer well there's a bunch of slayer gear and a bunch of things to buy there there's a lot of cost there but with this auto slayer it's pretty well building up the money pretty quickly um the big problem I ran into is I only had level 73 or 74 Slayer. So I couldn't even buy the, the elite tasks. Like you had to be level 75 to even open these and you got to be level 85 to open the next one. So I think I'm going to hold off on opening or buying too many of these pieces for a while. I, I might get the shrouded badlands. Like I said, I really want to try that dagger. The, um, this dark steel dagger. I want to try that off this Rancor spider this time. So I'm going to try to farm that one out. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but um, right now I'm, well, we'll get into what we're doing here in a minute, but I did something else in agility. I think I got coal stones. I don't think I had that last time. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Um, but I did go ahead and finish off agility. Agility's at 99. Um, obstacle eight. What was eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got spike jump. That's the one I changed. So I was able to go get this one uh, with enough Slayer coin. Once again, that auto Slayer, man, that lets that Slayer coin build up 
absolutely fantastic. I loved it and was able to get this. So getting a little bit more damage to dungeon monsters for whatever that's worth. Uh, waterfall, I don't know if I can, Oh, Waterfall, I can't pay, take anything because I don't have anything high enough yet. Like I would take this one if I can get carrots. I haven't looked yet. Um, the rest of these, maybe this, but I don't have fire making. Yeah, fire making is a no-go. So I don't know. If I can't get carrots somewhere, this one's a bust. I don't remember if I can get carrots or not. I'll have to figure that out. But I did unlock the ability to get the passive pillar. The only problem is I'm going to need a lot of gold and silver bars that I don't have. So I need 10,000 to get the combat pillar. Uh, the cool thing is once we start getting into, I think it's the volcano. I think once we get into here, yeah, they drop gold bars and silver bars by the chunks. And once I can idle this thing and just let it run, once I have enough health and I and food and everything, I'm going to let this roll because I want to get this ancient gear out of it. And I that'll get me start getting me some silver and gold. I was starting to farm the statue here, but they only dropped three and two. And I mean, it levels something up and it levels Slayer up, you know, whatever attack skill I'm using. But yeah, I, I figured I would hold off on the actual combat pillar until I get more. I'll, I'll see how things go because I'm going to get a lot of gold and silver from, you know, the volcano and probably some other places because i think i think the earth god place might dump some too yeah maybe not it might be that the shards that come out of there i can't remember uh let's see here talk about agility oh i did get the poison dagger i have that on so now my uh my speed is much quicker on attack and i got let's see where's it at the poison bow the poison short bow so now I can do a lot of poison. Really, really like being able to inflict poison on all these creatures that I got. Uh, the other thing, too, that I held off on doing is I can buy this extra equipment set. So we can buy that now. Drop my Slayer coin back. But I now have the third equipment set. Uh, let's see here. I don't need to buy any of this stuff. I don't care about any of that. don't care about any of this. Um, I don't know if I want to buy this. Rune crafting interval. I think we're already at the top or close to the top. I don't know if I'll bother with it or not. Maybe for grins. Not sure. Uh, I don't know if I want to bother with those claws. I could probably do that. Uh, not sure. But I want to save up for the Blazing Lantern at least. And I definitely need to start gearing up everything. Because this is I got to buy all the base gear. So you're looking at, what, 60000 there. And then I have to buy... Uh, six of these, six of these, and six of these. So we're looking at a, a what, 10 million or something like that. A big chunk. And then another 3 million. What is it? Three? Yeah, 3 million to buy this. So we're looking at 10, 15 million, a good 10 to 15 million Slayer coin uh, that will build up. That will definitely build up once, once we start getting into the heavier stuff. What I plan on doing, and I kind of alluded to this earlier. We are working on the Slayer stuff. I need 17 more Elite Slayer tasks. Uh, I think I can just let this run all night. Um, I don't really see a problem with it. I had 90-some thousand food the other day, and I'm down to 72,000. I've just been letting this thing roll all day. Uh, what I should probably do is go fish up some prayer points and just let it run all night and then run prayer points during the day, and that might be what I do. Uh, I basically did agility last night, let agility run all night and build up cash and everything. Um, but I'm very pleased with where I'm at today. And now comes the difficult part. Yeah, I guess I don't want those claws. I was thinking about whether I would go bother to go to the highlands and get those claws. They might be good. They might be worth getting. But I want to try these daggers out. Those are going to be the fastest melee weapon, I think. Um, and I'm more worried about speed than I am damage. So I want to get those. Uh, I have not used the crossbows yet. Oh, I did get the uh, ancient crossbow. I got that thing. So we've got a decent crossbow now. Um, and I started, I, oh, I did the, uh, the, the wizard place, uh, the wizard dungeon, the hall of wizards. I did. I went into that place for a little while. Um, and I, I now have a bunch of ancient gear, ancient wizard stuff. So we're good there. Um, very, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with the way everything's turning out. 
I need to start now that I have three gear slots, I need to start working on actually gearing up all the different classes. Uh, I did a little bit of the ancient stuff for the wizard and I've been kind of mixing and matching this stuff here for the melee. Uh, but I need to figure out how I want to actually gear up. I may use a lot of this dragon hide stuff and mix in whatever I get out of the, the volcano, just have a mix mash of stuff because I almost want to put the melee weapon on the ranged gear, if that makes sense. And I, I still don't really understand. I still haven't really gotten into the dungeons enough to know whether the gear makes enough of a difference or not. I, I want to, if I remember, I'm going to try that because the, the combat triangle is completely hosed. Like melee now goes against uh, magic. So I get bonuses here, but none of the gear has bonuses towards magic or defense against magic. So in fact, it has negatives to it. But if you balance it out with the, the, um, range stuff you know what i mean that's that that's i guess my reasoning behind having this patchwork of crap other than just having a patchwork of crap that i haven't gotten anything better for i'll i'll say that uh so yeah i don't know i don't know how much that stuff matters in my opinion the damage reduction is the most important thing and all the other stuff is kind of eh, whatever but i don't know we'll see uh especially once we get into this higher tier stuff but um, I am very pleased with the progress so far. I will start once we hit the weekend and I get more time. Um, I'm going to try to start pushing these dungeons a little bit more. I'll have more levels on this stuff here. Uh, I really need to start working on magic at some point. Uh, the one thing that's holding me back on working on magic is I don't know how much I'm going to need of what runes and everything. I only have a couple hundred thousand rune essence. I know I can get a little more and I can steal stuff and whatever, but I don't know what I need to use rune crafting for just yet. So I've kind of held off on it. I've used it only where I need to and not on like everything. So I'm going to hang on to that for a minute. Um, after that, I could probably get rid of like some of these gems and stuff. I don't think I need any of them anymore unless I need something for agility. And that's a possibility. I thought I needed diamonds for something, which I may have already done. Eh, whatever. Uh, that might have been this one, actually. That was this one to switch over. So, I'm good. I may not need diamonds on anything. Nope. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way this is going right now. So, that's where we're at currently. And... Going forward is pretty much what you see. We're going to be finishing off these, uh, these Slayer tasks, the Elite ones. Uh, the master ones, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to go directly into the master ones or not, or I'm going to work, start working on the God dungeons, but I'm starting to gradually get more gear and get things better. So if I go into the God dungeons and start collecting gear out of it and maybe idle those a little bit, uh, then I can come back and do those master tasks and they'll be a lot easier. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Anyway, that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.